Ready? Okay, we're, 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 recording. We're, we're recording right now. So, okay. <laughs> hi everybody. Welcome to the DJ Story Vlog interview series. I, I have a, this special friend that we have met through COVID, and and um, I, hi Sarah. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I'm doing really good and I'm really glad to see you. It's glad to see you also. It's just feel like it's been only a few months, but you know what? You know, it's been a year since COVID started and um, this experience working with you and now we've connected again has been, this is a special time. Yes. Um, like I remember um, Corona started and like we artists had to find like other ways to go on with our art. Yeah. And um, I, I was doing lots of videos and putting them on Facebook and suddenly you wrote me some <laughs> guy from Pittsburgh. Hey, let's do some project together. <laughs> and well, I thought, okay, yeah, why not? <laughs> let's try it's, that. It's so weird. And then, you know, you taught a couple of classes, my classes, and you met some of my friends in here in Akron, Ohio. And um, and then we did a whole video. I mean, we, I was, okay, Sarah, I was outside at a park one morning. Remember, I was in yes. my, my park, <laughs> I'm going around for whatever reason, I think I ran out of power or something, but you know, stuff like that. It was just, we, we did it, it was kind of cool. Yeah, so maybe to, to get the context for the audience. So like, we don't really know each other. Like we just know from the screen and from online, but like we did lots of like online rehearsals together just for, for joy to creating something. And we did. <laughs> and, and, and we did. And yeah, and here we are again. <laughs> you invited right. me to yeah. have an interview. <laughs> well, you know, also, well, during that process, um, I remember you mentioning a project and um, you had mentioned it to me and I, we weren't able to do it at the time, but when I saw recently that you actually did this project, I was like, I got to talk to Sarah again. I got to find out, boy, she, I remember it was like this inkling in your mind. So talk to us about this project that you did. Okay, yeah. So um, just recently I uh, did this project called One World Dance. And it's a project really coming from my heart because it's it was an or is an online video artistic project that unites children from five different countries. So we had uh, children from Ghana, from Germany, from Mexico, Philippines, and Russia. And um, yeah, we did some video creation together. And that's like the little resume. <laughs> that's fantastic. So you know, tell us the process, you know, this one world dance, you have a logo now, you have a, if you go on your Facebook page, you, you did a, uh, a presentation. So tell us what, you know, kind of from there. Yeah. Um, so maybe I can start from like how the idea came to me. Um, I mean, first of all, we had this Corona crisis going on pandemic and social distancing and I still felt this urge and desire to um, unite people and bring them together um, although we had the social distancing and then in May uh, George Floyd was killed and we had like this topic in the media I think all over the world about racism discrimination and that topic became really important for me and I was asking myself like what like what to do no about hate about prejudice and this powerful image came to me of uh, children from all over the world holding hands and dancing together and it was really inspiring and I I wanted to to make it true or to to realize this picture um, and so I started contacting dance schools and children's organization from all over the world um, and finally had a group of 14 children 14 amazing children that was uh, willing to try this adventure and and from there it started <laughs> nice how did you set it up then you, there's a from all over the over the world so how were you able able to set it up through time zones and all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, it was all based on online Zoom meetings, just as we have it now. Um, 
And so, yeah, I had different focuses. So first of all, we had like these meetings together of the children uh, of the countries and we had dance workshops. And we had also like sessions where we just talked and we had a group chat where we could ask questions. And um, yeah, time zones. <laughs> I, it was so weird in my mind because I had to schedule all the countries and the meetings. And at some point, I really didn't know anymore which date we have and which clock. And um, yeah, so for two months, I think like my room, this room actually was like the international meeting point of those children. And but it was really great. I really loved it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you know, it's the um, if you haven't seen it yet, there is a there's a picture of everybody doing this in the screen. Of the kids doing they're, they have your hands on the side yeah they're doing it's this actually, yeah it's kind of a powerful moment you know um the other one was the foot and the hand um kind of different rooms and kind of facing each other so when you look at this project sarah you know talk to us about maybe more in depth on what you were trying to accomplish and what do you want to see beyond do you see this growing do you want to continue this mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so maybe like I can start with like what my focus in the workshops was and then like come more to the film I did. Uh, so in the workshop, like my aim was like first that the children learn lots of different dances from all over the world. And secondly, that we start to create something together so I can see their movement language and um, parting from their language, create this choreography together, no? And like um, the idea behind was that we can communicate through dance, no? Although we, we come from different cultures, from different backgrounds, we somehow understand each other through dancing. And actually like, um, that was totally true for the project because like we had our talks and, we really felt that we were connecting through dance because dance was the passion of everybody. So it was really easy to connect. And um, I think this is also like the message of this film we created afterwards. So wherever you come from, wherever, like how you look like or what your background is, you can bond and you can connect and you can make friends all over the world. No, And it's really important in, these times of like global problems know that we kind of have this global community you know and that we feel that that we can connect with people um so yeah that's um if you get this message through the film i would be really glad <laughs> um well, you know dance is a universe dance is a universal language and it doesn't and you know, here you are, are talking English. I don't, I don't know how many languages you know. I only know one, but we are able to to communicate through dance, which is a universal language in itself. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. here you have somebody from Russia and from other other countries that may not have known, but you were using movement as the way to talk. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, and um, I mean, I like. Dancing, I, I already had this experience so many times, like when I was uh, having dance tours as a dancer in different countries, like we were in, I don't know, in Korea or China or Mexico, and like we performed for children actually. And kind of everywhere we had similar reactions and everywhere our pieces were understood. So um, that's also what made me realize that you can talk to people everywhere in the world through your movement, no? And and in a more intuitive way than through words, and maybe in a more real way. Like you, like we had um, one talk was in this one world dance group about like why do you dance, no? Mm -hmm. And um, and I had the most beautiful answers of these children. And one said, I think like. Um, I can press, I can express my real being through dance and I feel that I myself when I'm dancing and that was really beautiful but I think it's true somehow, I don't know, like, yeah, makes it more real dance. 
I agree. And you know, Sarah, do you see pursuing this? Is this something that you see like happening again? Do you want to mm. do it again? You know, sometimes you do a project in this time and you get busy. What, where do you see this going from here? Um, I would definitely like to continue it because it was so much fun. It was like so inspiring and I don't want it to stop. <laughs> um, um, yeah, for now, I'm not sure if I will go on with the online format like as soon as COVID has like not any but like like when it's possible I would like to do also workshops um present in a presential way and like go to schools or educational places and have um have this topic of like racism discrimination community building but um through dance no through dance tools and through yeah, getting to know other cultures through movement. Um, that's what I really would like to continue. And and the online way, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there are so many ideas in my head. Like I, I still have to order them a bit to to put them out there, but I will definitely continue with one world dance. Yes. <laughs> you no, know, you know, um, I didn't want to put the pressure on you because you know I think that we get busy. You know, what I mean, you're in college. There's all kinds of stuff going on, and but the fact that you did it. The fact that you took the effort and you called and you did it and you you impacted five different countries. Think about it. Those people in those countries were part of that. They're part of a, a bigger, the world. The world is, you put everybody all in one big piece and, and that's the one world dance. I really give you a lot of credit and, and um, it's a very special, special project, Sarah. Thank you. <laughs> Sure. it's so, nice to hear that yeah absolutely and i think small or big we all i feel like this connection we're worlds apart but we're mm. really not we felt we've talked about that before you know what i mean that mm -hmm. here we are connecting um and that even i felt that back when we did a piece when you connect with people around the world we really are not the same but we really you know um, we want to live, we want to be creative, you know, we want to have an impact maybe, you know, so this is one of those impactful projects I think everybody needs to make sure they see and, and um, they can get, they can get out of it what they can, you know, so it's important to hear from the person you created it too. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Um... I'm really glad that these people, like these children also like know each other now. It's like they, they've made new friends also in all of the world. So it's it's really nice to know that and that the contact also still goes on. Well, this was a great pleasure. I'm hoping everybody enjoyed this interview and uh, make sure you go to her website. And uh, I'm really glad we got to reconnect, Sarah. Me too. This Thank you great. for inviting me. <laughs> Fantastic. So um, I appreciate everybody watching. And please, again, like I said, check out the One World Dance. Check out our video. Um, if you're in the in the European countries over there, um, she has she did a presentation for a is it a theater? I saw. Yes, it's for a theater. But like actually, in like maybe two days, I will put it also on my website and YouTube and Facebook, so you can uh, find it directly there. <laughs> I, I think when this video comes out, it will be there. <laughs> perfect. You know, it's funny. Um, I didn't understand the language, but I, I enjoyed watching it because I can hear one world dance and the participants. And, you know, it was kind of interesting. So I don't know German, but it was kind of neat to know that you did it. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for um, watching. This is DJ Storybook. I'm Brian Murphy, your host. And for other um, podcasts, I have a podcast out there. Check out um, all the video interviews and such like that. So bye, guys. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you, Sarah, very, very much. Thank you.